According to the ancient Vedic texts of India, the gods descended from the sky in flying vehicles. They refer to those vehicles as vimanas. Is it possible that cultures from 7,000 years ago used technology that NASA engineers are still working to harness to build flying machines that could travel through the sky and beyond? The Russian satellite Sputnik, which was launched into orbit in 1957, was the first artificial satellite. Before this, wartime missiles had been launched using rockets. The German A4-V2 rocket family, which was launched in 1942, was the first to fly high enough to reach space. Even with early powered flight and early airplane models, these innovations are still relatively recent, occurring only at the turn of the 20th century. However, a lot of books make the claim that modern spacecraft and aircraft were regularly used over the Indian subcontinent thousands of years ago. According to the same sources, NASA's investigation into cutting-edge space propulsion methods is in fact heavily influenced by ancient flying machines. Could these amazing stories be true? The answer will be obvious to anyone with any knowledge of science or history, but let us try to look at the claims as fairly as we can. One such flying machine is Rukma Vimana. Details of this flying machine or Vimana are in the book Vimanika Shastra, written by ancient Hindu Saint Maharshi Bardwaj and later, in the 20th century, translated by Pandit Sastri. Earlier it was criticized that the structure of Rukma Vimana can't fly, but NASA has proved this criticism wrong. Even the usage of mercury as fuel in aircraft is possible, NASA has created a mercury vortex engine. And in Vimanika Shastra there is a mention of Padma Rasam which is the Sanskrit name of mercury. Mercury with the help of electric propulsion or by applying a magnetic field can be used as fuel due to its density. In Vimanika Shastra, there is the mention of ancient aircraft which were used during Mahabharata and before. It also states the different types of aircraft and their specific functionality. Maharshi Bardwaj describes Vimana, or aerial aircrafts, as being of three classes, one, those that travel from place to place, two, those that travel from one country to another, three, those that travel between planets. Among these were military planes, the functions of which were documented in great detail and which today read like something straight out of science fiction. They had to be invincible, unbreakable, non-combustible, and indestructible, capable of coming to a dead stop in the blink of an eye, invisible to enemies, and capable of listening to conversations and sounds in hostile planes. Despite the fact that some of these models have been aerodynamically proven to be accurate and have produced successful results in the current scenario, in this video, we compared both spacecraft based on their 1. Constructions 2. Measurements 3. Capability Rukma Vimana comes under Kritaka Vimana which was one of the classes of Vimanas according to ancient Indian sciences. It was constructed using material with high strength properties and also that has lightweight properties. According to Vimanika Shastra Rukma Vimana topped a speed of 725 miles per hour. Rukma Vimana has a main body whose geometrical shape looks like a cylindrical cone. To suck air from the top, Rukma Vimana had four long and vertical ducts with fans, this air is sent down which utilizes electrical energy through sun crystal located at the top of Vimana derived from sun converts it into electromechanical energy which enables Rukma Vimana to lift off in this process. It also had fan pipes, mica pillars and electromagnets within the body to enable it to fly. In ancient times, Raja Loha was used in the manufacturing process of Rukma Vimana, which is made by combining various metals and herbs that were available and eco-friendly at those times. This alloy played a major role in protecting the body from heat flux and high temperature radiation. We can prepare perfect Raja Loha by combining all the components of the mixture experimentally in the exact required proportions and it can be used for modern space vehicles. Raja Loha's properties are similar to that of NASA's Space Shuttle heat shield tiles. Rukma Vimana Structure Profile Main Body All the floors in Vimana are 20 feet high with the bottom floor consisting of wings, electromagnets, and landing gear. The remaining floors were used as cabins for people and pilots. Propeller There were eight propellers in total in which the lift propellers, which were on top of the Vimana generating lift, and the ones attached to the bottom floor, the side propellers are for VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing and for directional control. Pillars Eight mica pillars were used to uphold the structure. Electromagnets. A total of eight pairs of electromagnets with an offset of 45 degrees are arranged in the ground floor of the Vimana. Metals used. The metal Raja Loha used in making Rukma Vimana is considered to be one of the strongest metals according to the ancient science it is made up of. Ammonium chloride, benzoin, lead, laudroplant used to prevent radiation, seafoam, derived from offshore and algae. 
iron pyrites, mercury iron, natron, saltpetri, borax, mica, aconite, silver. The golden color of Raja Loha was from using curd, milk, ghee, sugar, and honey. Though using most of the elements while constructing a Vimana doesn't make practical sense, we can see the usage of some of these ingredients in present-day spacecraft or aircraft like the usage of mica reduces heat flux thus preserving the temperature inside the aircraft. Some of the latest drone designs are similar to that of Rukma Vimana, though not an exact copy. We can see the structural dome shape of Rukma Vimana and its three-layer which have the capacity of carrying three passengers. The aerodynamic structure is fit to fly. If the thrusters are provided in the right position, they can take flight. Rukma is stated to achieve speed up to 250 miles in 24 minutes, a speed of 725 kilometers per hour. Conclusion As NASA's Dragon spacecraft has the same aerodynamic structure as Rukma Vimana, the spacecraft is a successful space vehicle that has the capacity to carry seven passengers whereas in Rukma Vimana the capacity to carry people was three. So this criticism is proved false even from the Vyamanika Shastra. Even the usage of mercury as a fuel is also questioned, hence by the use of applying a magnetic field or by plasma method it can be used is proven. Gravitational force is among the first significant properties essential for effective flight. To overcome this difficulty among the promising choices would be to study residential property that is gravitational regulations by considering air as a fluid method. Just by using Newton's three guidelines of movement and Archimedes and Bernoulli's principles, you can overcome this difficulty. Gods like Canaris and Gondorves among others like Ravana have livingly traveled through the environment with special aircraft. It is made out of material that has extremely high energy but weight property this is certainly a negligibly tiny material. This particular products are fabricated by using nanotechniques. A book titled Brihad Vimana Shastra by Sri Brahma Muni Paravrajaka contains verses in Sanskrit explaining aircraft using their Hindi translation. Book entitled Vimanika Shastra by G. R. Hoseyer has appeared containing similar Sanskrit passages using their English translation. Our main issue in this report shall be with one of several Vimanas mentioned in Vimanika Shastra Rukma Vimana. In this, we can see the comparison is valid up to some extent NASA has even followed the structure from the Vedic literature manufacturing and capacity are even the same. If we talk about Drago the spacecraft is equipped with 16 thrusters that are used during missions. It has another part which is the trunk which is covered with solar panels which is helpful for energy. There are lots of secrets hidden in ancient texts. Let us know your views in the comments section.